It's the perfect place to caffeinate and have a date with some cuddly cats. Look at the kitty. Good girl. Gentle. Welcome to the Tipsy Tabby, where you'll find plenty of kitties in the window. Yes, we're open. The cat is now out of the bag. <laughs> Ferretti is the owner of this cat cafe in Newmarket, filled with furry felines in need of loving homes. It's going to be sad when they go, but so great when they do. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. The cats are all adorable. We even fed them a snack, and they all absolutely loved it. It was just, um, just a terrific place to come and visit. You came for your birthday. Yes. I love cats, and my best friend knows that. It's really a fun atmosphere, you know, that you can come in and pet all the kitties, and one of them looks like my old cat, so that was kind of nice to see. Our daughter used to live in Japan, and she made me so jealous because she sent pictures from the cat cafes there, and we thought we'd go over there at some point, but now we don't have to. <laughs> and we've adopted rescue cats before, so this is, this is perfect. We typically find that cats pick their humans. I know that quite a few of these cats have won over a lot of hearts in here. Oh. <laughs> How is that? Is that yummy? The cats, which are all up for adoption, come from Cattails Rescue in Seabrook, where every cat has a story. Simba who was a showboat in here, um, fan favorite. Everybody adores him. He's great. He was actually on a euthanasia list for that morning um, when we were contacted to take him up to our rescue. And it is very heartwarming to see him now entertaining everyone. Oh, I love Simba. <laughs> Simba is so friendly. So this is the cat. If you really love a playful cat, and he's so sweet. And he's funny to watch. So this would be the cat, Simba. The cafe and lounge are separate to comply with code. Space is tight, so reservations are highly recommended for the cat lounge. The Tipsy Tabby Cafe serves up drinks that can be spiked, like Tiger Cat Boba and all kinds of baked goods, including the very popular Kitty Cake Pops. I guess she also likes the cookies here. Apparently, yes. <laughs> you want a treat? Is this your favorite? I don't know how to describe what I was going for. Um, more or less just creating a space that the cats could, you know, entertain themselves with and give them a sense of the outdoors. With trees to climb, soft, comfy beds, and lots of toys, these cats feel right at home. They can socialize with whom they please, and, and they can also ignore whoever they want as well. Um, so it gives them a chance to really let their personalities shine and to make the right match with their future pet parents. This is Samuel Manuel. He's from Puerto Rico. Sam will come in and he'll just hop up into my lap and he'll just sit there all day um, just helping me uh, write a little code. <laughs> he needs a little practice, but he's getting there. We've got Blake and he's, he's a big ham of a cat, a big tabby cat. And um, every morning when we come in to get ready in the morning, he sits at the window and he paws at the window to say hello to us. He's desperate for love, so if you want to meet Blake, come on in um, and he will give you a show. Caitlin plans to offer movie nights featuring feline flicks and catnip toy crafting classes. The cafe is decorated with artwork by her mom, who donates a portion of the sales to Cattails Rescue. Uh, mixed media with a lot of recycled materials, a lot of glass and uh, various things that we find. Um, old belts, old jewelry. I could be here all day. I'll have a dog sniffing me though when I go home, knowing that I cheated on him. <laughs> There's a catnap hour each day where the lounge is closed to visitors. Because this is their home and we're all their guests and so they kick us all out for an hour. While it may be home for now, the hope is that it won't be home for long. 
we had a guy come in and Simba just connected with him right away. Um, he walked in, Simba went right over to him. He was in his lap the whole hour. <laughs> so That guy is now Simba's new owner and sure to be the first of many happy cat loving customers. Every now and then you get a little kid that says, this is the best day ever. And that just, that really makes it all worth it.